Welcome to the World Brief. The content of the briefing includes China's Xi meets US lawmakers as November summit looms. Beating Manchester City will only boost Arsenal's belief, Gabriel Martinelli. Vietnam tried to hack US officials, CNN with posts on X, probe finds. Audubon's Birds of America, a rare sighting at New Brunswick's Legislative Library. Is it safe to travel to Israel amid attacks? China's Xi meets U.S. lawmakers as November summit looms. Nikkei Asia. Chinese President Xi Jinping met with a U.S. congressional delegation in Beijing on Monday to discuss bilateral relations and the possibility of arranging talks between Xi and U.S. President Joe Biden in November. The delegation, led by Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, has been visiting China since Saturday and is the first group of U.S. lawmakers to visit the country in four years. During the meeting, both sides expressed the importance of avoiding conflict and respecting each other's core interests. The U.S. lawmakers' trip is part of a larger tour that includes visits to South Korea and Japan. The U.S. and China are exploring the possibility of holding one-on-one -on -one talks between Xi and Biden at a leaders' meeting in November. Beating Manchester City will only boost Arsenal's belief, Gabriel Martinelli. The Independent. Gabriel Martinelli believes Arsenal's win over Manchester City will boost the team's belief that they can win the Premier League title. The Gunners beat City 1-0 on Sunday, their first league win against the champions since 2015. Martinelli, who came on as a substitute and scored the winning goal, said that beating a big side like City gives the team confidence and shows their potential. Arsenal are currently level on points with leaders Tottenham, and Martinelli believes the team can improve on last season's second-place finish and challenge for the title. Vietnam tried to hack U.S. officials, CNN with posts on X, probe finds. Washington Post. Vietnamese government agents attempted to plant spyware on the phones of several members of the U.S. Congress, along with American policy experts and journalists, earlier this year. The campaign was uncovered through a forensic examination of links posted to Twitter and documents discovered by a consortium of news outlets. Among the targets were Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Rep. Michael McCall and Senator Chris Murphy, both influential voices on Capitol Hill. Also targeted were Asia experts at Washington think tanks and journalists from CNN. The campaign coincided with negotiations between Vietnamese and American diplomats over a major cooperation agreement aimed at countering Chinese influence in the region. The Biden administration found the targeting of members of Congress concerning, according to an anonymous official. Audubon's Birds of America, a rare sighting at New Brunswick's Legislative Library. CBC. The Very Rare and Valuable Birds of America by John James Audubon is on display at the Legislative Library in New Brunswick, Canada. There are only five copies in the country, and this one is attracting bird enthusiasts and artists. The four-volume collection features life-sized specimens and was printed on double elephant folio, the largest sheets available at the time. The library has made efforts to preserve and protect the book, which is stored in a temperature-controlled case. The book's origin remains a mystery but it is thought to have belonged to Princess Adelaide or Mademoiselle d'Orléans of France. Is it safe to travel to Israel amid attacks? The Independent. The Foreign Office has advised against all but essential travel to Israel and the Occupied Palestinian Territories, OPTs, following Israel's declaration of war on Hamas. This advice requires holiday companies with clients in Israel to bring them back as soon as possible, and prevents mainstream tour operators from sending out further groups until the travel advice is withdrawn. Ben Gurion International Airport and Eilat Ramon Airport remain open and operational. However, many airlines have adjusted their flight schedules due to the ongoing situation. British Airways has changed its daily flight from London Heathrow to Tel Aviv to an earlier departure time. EasyJet has temporarily paused operations to and from Tel Aviv, offering affected passengers the option of a refund, voucher, or free transfer to a new flight. LL Airlines is operating flights as scheduled, while Virgin Atlantic has cancelled one daily round trip on selected dates. Wizz Air has cancelled flights to and from Tel Aviv until further notice. The risk of civilian aircraft being shot down following the attacks on Israel is high, according to Flight Operations Organization Ops Group. Woman sexually assaulted by man on park bench she tried to help. The Independent. A woman was sexually assaulted after trying to help a man she found unconscious on a park bench in Vale Park, Aylesbury. When the woman approached the man to wake him, he dragged her to a nearby tree and assaulted her. A member of the public intervened, causing the attacker to flee. Police have released an EFIT image of the suspect and are appealing for any witnesses to come forward. The man is described as 40 years old, Asian or Arabic, over 6 foot tall, of medium build, with a black beard, and was wearing a black leather jacket and black beanie hat. 
Airlines cancel Tel Aviv flights amid ongoing Israel conflict. The Independent. Wizz Air, Virgin Atlantic, and British Airways have all cancelled flights to and from Tel Aviv due to the ongoing conflict in Israel. The safety and security of passengers and crew is the top priority for the airlines, and affected passengers will be contacted about the cancellations. The Foreign and Commonwealth Office has advised against all but essential travel to Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. Passengers who do not wish to travel can rebook for another date or receive a full refund. British Airways is monitoring the situation closely and has introduced a flexible booking policy for customers. The Association of British Travel Agents advises discussing travel options with travel agents or tour operators. Alabama flags children's book for censorship as author's name is Gay. The Independent. A children's book, Read Me a Story Stella by Marie-Louise Gay, was flagged for censorship by Alabama officials because the author's surname is Gay. The book was incorrectly placed under review at the Harris County Public Library due to its sexually explicit nature, even though the story contains no sexual content. The review process, which targeted books containing sexuality, gender, sex, and dating, was halted after criticism that it targeted the LGBTQ community. This incident is part of a growing trend of book bans and censorship in libraries and schools across the United States. Israel's military says it has regained control of southern towns. Wall Street Journal. Israel said that it has regained control of towns in the south of the country from Hamas. However, the Israeli military added that there were still Hamas fighters trickling across the border from Gaza and that it was using aircraft and tanks to force out militants still hiding there or stop other Hamas fighters from entering Israel. The attack on Saturday by Hamas shocked Israel and represented a major failure of its intelligence services, drawing comparisons to the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Starmer prepares labor for UK general election as soon as May. Bloomberg. UK Labour Party leader Keir Starmer has warned that Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's Conservative Party would fight dirty to stay in power and said his party is preparing for a general election as soon as May 2024. However, Starmer also said that Prime Minister Sunak could spring a surprise and call an election in May 2023, coinciding with the London mayoral election, to take advantage of incumbent Sadiq Khan's waning popularity. He added that he expects the election campaign to be focused on short-term decisions instead of the long-term interests of the UK. IMF, World Bank hold meetings in Morocco weeks after devastating quake. Al Jazeera. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, and World Bank are holding their annual gathering in Morocco, the first meeting on African soil in 50 years. The event was postponed twice due to the COVID pandemic. The IMF and World Bank are expected to give Africa a third seat on their executive boards to give the continent a stronger voice. However, the main contributors are not in favor of a capital increase as it would require them to put up more funds and give more influence to emerging powers like China and India. The World Bank plans to boost lending by $50 billion over the next decade, with World Bank President Ajay Bunga suggesting increasing capacity by $100 billion or even $125 billion through contributions from advanced economies. The IMF approved a $1.3 billion loan to Morocco to help strengthen its preparedness against natural disasters. Activists are planning to hold a march to urge the institutions to take action against climate change and debt. Major airlines suspend flights to Israel after Hamas incursion. Financial Times. Several major airlines, including Cathay Pacific, EasyJet, and Lufthansa, have suspended flights to Israel due to safety concerns following the outbreak of conflict with Hamas. This follows warnings from air safety agencies that airlines should exercise caution when flying into Israeli airspace. U.S. airlines, including Delta Airlines and United Airlines, have also cancelled flights, with warnings that disruption could last all week. Despite this, Ben Gurion International Airport near Tel Aviv, Israel's main hub, remains open and several major carriers are still operating flights. European airline shares fell on Monday, as the price of oil rose, one of the industry's biggest costs. David Warner makes Cricket World Cup history in India-Australia match. The Independent. David Warner has become the fastest batter to reach 1,000 runs in the history of the ICC Cricket World Cup breaking a record previously held by Indian cricketing legend Sachin Tendulkar. Warner achieved the milestone during Australia's match against India in the 2023 World Cup. Despite losing the game, Warner's knock of 41 off 51 balls took him just 19 innings to reach 1,000 runs. Tendulkar had held the record for 24 years, taking 20 innings to reach the milestone in the 1999 World Cup. 
Warner now holds the record, with West Indies Vivian Richards and India Saurav Ganguly jointly holding the third position. India captain Rohit Sharma was also on track to break the record in the same match, but was dismissed for a duck. RFK Jr. is expected to drop his Democratic primary bid and launch an independent or third-party run. Associated Press Robert F. Kennedy Jr., an anti-vaccine activist, is expected to drop his Democratic bid for president and run as an independent or third-party candidate. Kennedy's campaign has teased the announcement in the days leading up to a Monday afternoon speech in Philadelphia. The 69-year-old Kennedy is a member of one of America's most famous Democratic families and was running a long-shot Democratic primary bid but has better favorability ratings among Republicans. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.